Top. G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Aussie here. Now who loves chainsaws and big cranes, heavy machinery and lots of noise? Well, I certainly do too, kids. Now I know you're gonna love this episode because today we've come along to this place and we're gonna cut down a massive tree. It's a problem tree, it's in the wrong spot and it needs to come down. We've been called in for the big job. Now, safety is very important, kids, when you're dealing with chainsaws and big machinery. So, as Aussie always says, safety first. Let's get some safety gear on. And we're gonna need to have our safety glasses. We definitely need a safety helmet to protect our head. We need some earmuffs to protect our ears. They'll go on there in a second. And of course, we need a high-vis vest so that all our workmates can see us and know where we are. So the guys have already started. You can hear the noise in the background and see we've got some cones here and some signage just to let people know that this area there's work happening. So you've got to make sure that if you come in here, you're protected, you've got your safety gear, and you make sure you're doing things properly and safely. Now check out, they've got a big truck over here, and this thing here, check this out. This is called a chipper, a wood chipper. And it's a bandit. How good is it? Come around this side. You can see all the trees, branches, that have been cut down already and they're sitting there ready to go in there. So when this machine gets turned on, that goes through there. It's amazing. It gets pulled in there and it goes, gets chewed up, turned into bark, and it gets spat out this big pole here, this big thing here, and goes into the back of the truck. It turns it into wood chips. So this is a very important piece of machinery when you're doing any kind of tree removal. It's also very, very dangerous. That's why it's got safety features. See these things here? We've got big emergency stop buttons. We've got these poles here to, you pull it this way to make it go, to make it stop. You pull it that way to make it reverse. And you've got this really important safety feature down here. That's what you can hit with your knee or your leg. So you go bang like that, and that'll stop the machine straight away. So that if anything's going wrong, you might get yourself in there. Quickly press that, boom, it'll stop. And everything's gonna be safe. All right, what else can we find? Kids, look at this, a little excavator. 
Wow. Tell you what, this is gonna make our job a whole lot easier today because those big branches that we can't actually pull out using our own physical strength, that's gonna grab the branches and drag them up there. So here's the excavator in action, kids. Look, it's got the grabber on the end. Just like in other Aussie videos, we've described the excavator different parts before. That's the grabber and see how he's grabbed that. And he's just dragging that tree right up here. And that wood chipper can just take that whole tree branch and just munch it up and spit it out the other side. It's unbelievable. That tripper, that chipper can actually take 19 inch branches. So we're talking something like that big. You can just take it the whole thing into that, chomps it up, spits it out. So I'm gonna put my earmuffs on. Is that wood chipper? Look at that. Check this out. So just like that kids, we had one man on one side and one man on the excavator working together to feed all those branches, the, th the little ones, the really big ones, and they all just went straight into the chipper, Woo! straight out the other side, how good's that? Okay, so kids, this, this is the project for today. This is the big tree, and it's a beautiful tree, but it's in the wrong spot, and it's only gonna grow even taller, probably another 30 metres, and that's no good because all the houses around here are gonna be in danger if this thing grows too much taller. So it's gotta come down, unfortunately. So the guys are here doing all things very safely. You can see that all the branches have been taken down all the way up to where the man is, up the tree. How cool will that job be? Hanging up there in the tree, chopping down the branches. So you can see it takes a few people to make this happen. We've got a guy down here on the ropes. We've got a man up in the tree and what he's doing up there is he's going to wrap that rope around the branch, put it in a, a, in a special spot, and then he's going to chop the branch. And then the man on the ground is going to slowly lower that tree branch down. The excavator is going to pick it up. Then it goes to the, the chipper, gets fed into the machine, and then taken away. And they do that step by step until they get all the branches down. And then they take the big trunk. We're going to see that a bit later. All right, so kids, this looks like a whole lot of fun. And I don't know, I reckon that'd be pretty good to be up there. But if you want to become just like these guys and climb trees and learn how to cut them down properly to be a professional tree lopper, guess what it's called? It's called an arborist. So it's a very specialized skill that you need to do training for so you can become as good as these guys. No worries, boys, I'll get this one, yep. Yeah, don't, I don't need the excavator. I'm good. 
Oh, this one. Oh. 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 Marvelous. So with all that sawdust falling around us, that's why it's very, very important to have our safety glasses on. And did you see how hard that log hit the ground? That's why it's very important to keep our distance back here because if one of those logs hits one of the other ones on the ground, it could ricochet up, send wood flying everywhere. And if you have a look on the fence here, it sent mud flying everywhere. So safety glasses, very, very important. So I've just seen Luke come down. He's finally finished up the tree. He doesn't need to be up there anymore. He's finished all these cuts. The last cut that needs to be done is from the ground. So we're just gonna do one big cut down here, pull the tree stump over that way, and then we're gonna take those bits of the tree, send them into the chipper, into the truck, into wood chips, and then we're done. So Luke's finished the last cut down here, and we see the excavators had the, had the rope on the end of it. That's because this is a really, really heavy part of the tree. So too, too heavy for three people to pull. The excavator had the rope, and that was pulling it backwards so that it knew exactly where it needed to go. It just guided that tree right down into the gap, and the excavator can come pick it up and take it over. Chop it up, and we'll be done. That's why they need an excavator. Is there any more cuts? Are you done? We're done. We're done, I'm too late to the party. I was gonna have a go, kids, but no. I've left it to the professionals. This is a very dangerous piece of equipment, all these chainsaws. That's why you've gotta be qualified and you leave these guys to do the job, not for Aussie. But I'll just show you these things here, these are the blades, and this is the motor, and then you start it by pulling that, okay? and then you press the lever here, you gotta press this one down on the top, press that one, and that's what makes this chain go round and round, or the blade, and that's what spins really, really fast. The motor makes a whole lot of noise, and when that spins really fast, it just cuts straight through the wood. Small one, for the nice small branches all the way up the tree and the big long ones for those big chunky sections of the tree. How much fun are these things? I feel like I wanna go and become an arborist. What do you reckon kids? Good fun, eh?
So the guys have packed up all the equipment, we've cleaned up all that tree, that huge big tree has been chipped and it's in the back of that truck and that gets used to spread around council land. So nothing gets wasted here, how cool is that? So there you go kids, I'm standing right here where this big tree used to be, standing about 30 or 40 metres right up into the sky. It had to come down because of safety reasons, but I was here today with TreeServe taking us through the process of how to cut this tree down from top to bottom using the chainsaws, the chipper, the excavator, and a whole lot of skill. Kids, I hope you've loved this episode today. It's been super fun. We'll see you on another episode of Aussie very soon. And until then, stay keen. If you haven't already, make sure you get a great up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today, we're gonna do some yard work. Now, who loves getting outside and helping in the yard? I bet you do. Following along behind Nan or Pop or Mum and Dad, or any of the grown-ups really, with your very own garden tools. Now, we're gonna focus on some grown-up garden tools. We've got some lawn mowers, we've got a hedger, we've got a lion trimmer or a whipper snipper, or as some people call it, a weed eater, and we've also got a blower or a leaf blower. Kids, it's gonna be so much fun, and today we're gonna to get started with some lawn mowing. Let's get stuck in. Hey kids, that is the electric or the battery powered mower. It does a pretty sweet job, but let's have a crack at the petrol one.
There you go, kids. I think this grass is looking pretty good. What do you think? But I think we need to do something else. These edges need to be done, don't they? Let's go and get that whippersnipper and do those edges. Come on. And now we can start cutting. There you go, kids. That's hot and sweaty work. Good thing I've got my sweatband. So we've done the lawns, we've done those edges. They're looking nice and neat, but we've made an almighty mess, haven't we? There's grass clippings and there's leaves everywhere. Now, what are we gonna use to clean up these leaves? A leaf blower. So let's go and grab that and get all this cleaned up. There you go kids, that's the leaf blower. Things are looking pretty clean around here. And leaf blowing is one of my favorite things to do. It was always my favorite when I was a kid because it's really easy to do and you can't really get it wrong. It's very, very safe. So if you want to try one of these things at home with your grown up, leaf blower is the way to go. And you know the best thing about it? It means you're almost finished. Now there is one more piece of equipment that I had over there and that was, do you remember? It was a hedge trimmer, wasn't it? There's a mighty big hedge over there and needs a lot of trimming. So come on, come and help me with the hedge trimming. Let's go. There you go kids, I reckon this hedge is looking pretty good and I reckon this whole yard is looking pretty amazing. Thanks so much for your help, thanks for joining me today. Remember when you're helping out in the yard with grown ups, maybe start with just your toys or even the blower, that's a really good one to start when you're a little kid. Kids, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've learnt lots and I hope that you've had lots of fun in the yard just like I have. We'll see you on our next video and until then, stay keen, I've got some leaves to rake up. If you haven't already, make sure you get a grown up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours, and he's a friend of.